Here's another one, a uh, uh, MCQ question now. But look at that. Look at all those branches. I want you to try, see what you can do about this. It takes, okay, it just takes a while guesses. A, B, C, D, ma, you choose one, 25% chance you'll get it correct. Even if you didn't know how to do it. So here you have a DC supply connect to a circuit, five resistor. Potential drop, whatever is given, it already written there. Long. What are the potential drop across M, P, and Q? Ooh, try solve this puzzle. It's like those Sudoku puzzle. They give you a few number, you have to find the rest. It is possible. Hint. Use Kirchhoff's law to draw loops if you can. Okay, give yourself some time to try this one out. Two minutes uh, or something like that. Okay, pause the video. Okay, let's look at this thing. Potential drop, they gave us choices. Okay, but let's just zoom in a bit. Oh my, what happened to my screen? There it is. Now, how do we find the missing potential drop across M, P, and Q? You may think of our old school way. You say, Miss, these two, these, two, these two lines are parallel, right? This line and this line. Yeah, they're parallel. So you could say this whole thing, potential is 20 volt. The potential across P, Q is also should be 20 volt. You could say that, but it's better to start thinking in terms of Kirchhoff's law now. Because that idea is where it's originated from Kirchhoff's law. What do I mean by that? I mean, you take, you take a pen or whatever, you trace a loop. Let's go with the outside loop first. Loop, go back to the battery. That's called one loop. So in that loop, you go up by 20. That means you drop by 7 and then another drop here. I don't know why it's there, quite VM. Then, done already. Lo. So, 20 equals to 7 plus what? 13, no? So your VM have to be 13. That's how you can solve the first one. So if you look there, you see, are you 13? This one out. This one out. This one correct. Okay. Done. Then, the other ones. Think of loops. The reason why I say think of loops is because there's this funny, funny shape inside here. Okay, so I, I wrap off. Hey, where's my eraser? Okay, so this one is 13 volt drop. Now the inside one. If you just take this loop and then say, Miss, I just do like that. Lah. Cannot, you got two unknown. You don't know P, you don't know Q. So cannot, cannot, cannot. Choose a different loop for now. Uh, what else can you solve? Ah? Well, you could do this one. Maybe you start from here. And then you go like that. This one, you have to think of a little bit of a strange idea already lo, to see what is this thing. So you start off at with a 7 drop. This one, no EMS, so you think of 7 drop. Okay, 7 drop. 4 volts drop. Drop some more. Then, here you want to go up. Plus V. And then, because you go back to the original place, so 0. This is a variation of that one lah. Or you can think of it this way. 7 plus 7 equals to Vp. Or the one that go down and then all the one that go up. So check and see. Did, did I write 7? Ah? 4. Sorry, sorry. This is supposed to be 4. Because here is 4. 7 plus 4. Okay, so what is Vp? So here Vp should be 11. So you go down. And then you see. Where is 11. 11! Nice! That pretty much narrows it down to one answer C. But let's also look at Q. Good practice for this thing. Oh, also, <coughs> you might be wondering, oh, why, Miss, why, why can minus plus minus plus? Okay. Because you think of it this way, oh, you start with 20 volt potential. So at the top of here is 20 volt. At the top of here is 20 volt. So once you go across here, you already drop by 11. Go across here, you drop by uh, 7. Then you drop some more by 4. So 20 minus 7 minus 4 is... 20 minus 7 minus 4 is 9. So at this point, your potential is 9 volts. So 20 minus 11, check and see. This is 20, ah. Uh, 20 minus... Uh, did I write N? 11. 
is 9 volts. So correct, huh? that's how you check. Your potential is dropping and then the 7 volt is the drop across that resistor. You can do it for here, 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 basically any point on the circuit. Okay, that's a very important idea to have. Now, what's the last one? Q. Come, we look at Q. Q have many choices already. You can pretty much draw any loop as long as it involves Q in it. Let's practice the one where you have to do, not the EMF one. The EMF one easy easy, you just draw like that. All the EMF equals to potential drop. But let's look at the one, the other idea where you have to kind of start at the place and then you go like that. So you zoom in on that one loop only. So let me write out here. So here you are at potential of 9 volts. At the top part, you are at a potential of 13 volts. So you drop 13 somewhere here, becomes 0 volt potential already. So here, you're already going back to the battery, so you should be at zero potential. So 9 volt, to go zero potential, you need to do what? Minus 9. So 9 volt drop. So I'm not even using the equation, I just look at it. Okay. If you want to do the equation style, can okay. we start from where? Ah? Just choose a point ah, here, ah. the x here. Which way shall I go? Any way goes, doesn't matter. Let's go up this way across M first. So then you're going up the hill. So you have to plus 13. Then you drop, you go down by, is that 4? I can't see, I draw too much over it. 4, then from Q, you're going down some more, 9. Eh, that one is what we're trying to find. Down by some value, ah yes. Equals to 0. Should be 0 already lah. So, V equals to 13 minus 4, which will give you 9. Yep, 9. There we go. So many ways to do it. You can think of potential, potential, all dropping, dropping, dropping. And that's it. So yeah, the answer is C. Ting, ting, ting.